Okay guys, so what are archive pages? Well, we already know that our blog page is an archive page. We actually created this page over here and we told WordPress that we would like this page to be our blog archive page. Post archive pages will display our blog post in a chronicle order when the newest one is at the top. Now, how does WordPress know that we want this page to be our blog archive page? By just creating this page and call it blog, it doesn't mean that WordPress knows automatically to make it an archive page. But at the beginning of this course, if you remember, we went into the settings tab and here in this post page, we set it up to be blog. And that's when we told WordPress, hey, treat this page as an archive page. And since then, this page became an archive page. So we created this archive page. The content will be generated automatically. We can't control the content, but we can control the style. Now we also have many archive pages that were created automatically by WordPress that we never created. Let me give you a live example from our website. Let's enter one of our blog posts. And when we're clicking on the blog post category strand, for example, it will take us to another archive page that we never created. You can see the URL over here. We never created this page. However, every time you create a blog post category, WordPress automatically creating an archive page for that category. And this archive page will display all the posts under this category. So we have a strength category, we have an archive page for the strength category. We have a fitness category, we have an archive page for the fitness category. So again, you can't control the content that goes into this page. However, we can control the design and the style of the page. In the next lecture, we will create an archive page template.